So hello, 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 brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Worshippers Retreat. Uh, my name is Rhonda, and I pray you all are having a great day today. The title of this video is Be Careful Who You Marry. Um, so brothers and sisters, um, if you read your scriptures, um, you should know that we're not supposed to be having sex outside of marriage. Um, people do it, but we're not supposed to do that. Uh, that's called fornication. And when you have... Um, you're married having sex outside of marriage. That's called adultery. And y'all frowns upon all of that stuff. And uh, this particular one is for the women. And reason being is because they actually carry life. And they can birth life. And so um, you have a lot of beings um, that look human on the outside, brothers and sisters, that are not human. And they're looking for women to birth their children um now before they had these tv shows and i don't look at tv i i saw a sometimes you two have commercials um and so i'll see certain stuff and i've been noticing since last year like uh, a lot of videos on she hulk and like everybody on this the uh show looks like incredible hulk well i've done videos on that brothers and sisters i didn't see during that time when i released those videos i did not see anyone with videos on dreams having dreams about seeing incredible hulk like people but i would have multiple dreams about those things and so uh, a couple of weeks ago um i say last month i had a dream and uh in this particular dream, initially I started, I was in this room and I was off to the side watching and I saw this lady lying in bed, you know, with her nightgown on and everything. And so, uh, initially I was watching a lady, but the Lord, um, when he wants me to see how stuff feel, he'll allow me to actually become that person. So the lady was lying in bed and her husband had gotten out of the bed and um he looked like a human at first but it's like i had a sense of dread like okay something is not right because it's in the it was the middle of the night brothers and sisters full moon out and everything and so um he was a, a very built dude and I just, but I had a feeling like something wasn't right. And so I was, I played like I was asleep because I wanted to see if he was going to change. I just knew he was going to change. And so he did, and he, he kept walking down because uh, the door to the room, um, before you actually got to the door, it was a, a like a, a hall there. And so he walked out and he left the door open and went outside. And I saw him actually do like the Hulk does he started turning green and you know his clothes his shirt uh um split and came off and stuff and he went and he jumped like how the Hulk, do Hulk does in the movies and he disappeared and so I'm sitting here like oh my goodness like so how do I how do I play this off and brothers and sisters uh in the dream, I was pregnant with this man's baby. And when he came, he finally came after, back after some time. And I thought, I faked, I faked like I was asleep again. And I thought that he was going to, you know, go back into his human form. He didn't. He did not. He had got tired of hiding, brothers and sisters. And so he just, he shook me until he woke me up. And he shook me, touched me with his hand. And I was like, hmm, you know, I, I was already awake, but I was faking it. And he was like, and, uh, he was like, I'm, I have something to tell you. And I was like, what? So I act like I was still opening my eyes. But he was still in, he was still green, brothers and sisters, like the Hulk. And he was like, well... You know, I'm not who you think I am, um, and I'm not really human. And so, 
I'm just looking in horror or trying to, because I didn't want to uh, anger him or anything. Whew. I didn't want to anger him or anything. And the only thing I can remember is right before I woke up, is like talking to y'all and I'm saying, y'all, I'm pregnant with a, a child that's not even fully human. Oh my gosh, like how do like how do I get this out of me? And so y'all, I woke up. Yeah, I that's not the only dream I've had where beings that are disguised in a human suit is has, you know, is looking for women to take care of their children or either even had their child have their child. In another dream I had years ago, um, I remember uh the dream starts out to where I'm outside in this like park or whatever, and I see my old manager sitting down with this man, this Caucasian man, who was real muscular. But brothers and sisters, I'm the type of person I look at people eyes like I've been like that since a child. Um, when they say the eyes are the window to the soul, that is true. So this particular man was very, 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 I'm not even exaggerating, handsome. He was very, very handsome. And I'm just thinking to myself, I was like, oh, she's in a relationship with him. And I'm just like, that's an odd couple. But, you know, and he had a baby in his hands. He was holding the baby and he, you know, went to go give it to her because he wanted her to take care of the child. But the baby was a new, the baby was a newborn baby, brothers and sisters, but the baby was bigger than normal. And so as, and, uh, and she was like, Rhonda, I want you to, uh, I guess she wanted me to be like the baby's nanny. And so she left me with the man and his baby. And she was like, you know, I'll be back or whatever. And so the man is just smiling at me and his eyes, brothers and sisters, I, re I even regret looking into him because I knew, and he knew that I knew that he was not human. He was not human. The baby looked just like him. And it's, it's like my blood just, I don't know, what little breath I still <laughs> I still had in my body. Um, I was I was struggling to breathe at that point. And I woke up from that dream. But I have seen, I've done on other videos where I have, in fact, I can tell when people are not human. Y'all will tell me. That's why I pay to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters. Work on your relationship with Yah. The close, the more you spend time in the scriptures, the more you walk in obedience, the more you fast and pray as Holy Spirit leads, your discernment will increase. And the things that our flesh will not tell us, our spirit will know because we are yielded to the Holy Spirit because we've been feeding our spirit. And that's who's stronger. You know, I get the gift of discernment will increase. You need that to survive in the end time. So my warning, my warning is to women, do not be so desperate for a man. Pray, pray, and pray some more, brothers and sisters. This is this goes this can go for fellas too. Because a lot of people have married people that are not fully human. Okay? Um, and so y'all, when I woke up from the dream about the Hulk like figure, and like I said, I have other videos on this. Um, y'all told me, he said, Rhonda, many women are just now, are now finding out that the man that they thought that they love is not really even a man, but he just has a skin suit on and there, many of them are going crazy. He say like, some women know that something is not right, but they can't put their hand on it. And so he told me to come and warn y'all. This is not to scare you all, but you need to be careful. And yes, I will tell you this right here. There are more of them than there are of us. Yes, there are brothers and sisters. You want to know why? Because many people, uh, abortion can be thanked. The uh, injectable can be thanked. So many different reasons. People not walking in the laws and statutes of Yah and, and having their life cut off 
um, prematurely is another reason. Uh, increased murder, increased suicide. We're in we're in the end time, so you know, violence is gonna increase. So you guys need to make sure before you jump into anything, you need to be praying and consulting y'all. God bless.